In this unit, we're just going to look at some simple facts about India's history of economic growth, just to put some of the other arguments in context. It is generally believed by economic historians that the Indian economy had been growing and reached a kind of relative peak around the year 1600. At that time, most Indians were, of course, poor, but they enjoyed an existence somewhat above the level of subsistence. European visitors who came to India quite often were impressed. They were impressed with the size of Indian cities, they were impressed with the luxury and the splendor of the court, and they were impressed by Indian arts and crafts. Of course, they were picking up a kind of selection bias. They were probably encountering wealthier parts of India, and they had less of a look at many poorer parts in the interior. Still, under one credible estimate, per capita income in India around 1600 was about 71% of that of England. There was a kind of rough parity. If we look at the available numbers, we can see some evidence for a history of decline. For instance, this is a chart for Indian per capita GDP. I would stress that these numbers are quite provisional, they are highly uncertain, and they're based on piecing together different items of data from exports, later from the British census, from various wage surveys, and we don't really know just how accurate these numbers are, but they're the best we can do. And what you see is that here, earlier on, is 1600, this is a kind of peak, and then there is a decline in Indian per capita GDP. This decline continues throughout the period of British takeover and rule, but this is, in general, several centuries of decline. If we look at wages for unskilled Indian labor, we can see that for those individuals, the decline is especially bad. Again, you can see a kind of relative peak around 1600, and then throughout the 17th and 18th centuries, there is very rapid decline. In the 19th century, there's a partial increase again, but by the time we get to 1871, that increase has largely petered out, and in fact, the wages have gone back down again. These, of course, are many of the poorest individuals in India, and again, this is quite a sad story of decline. We're going to return to the question of how much British rule helped or hurt India, but just as an introduction to that topic, the numbers don't suggest that British rule was such a happy period for India that per capita GDP and wages for unskilled labor did not do especially well. In fairness to the British, however, you can also see that there were significant economic problems in India before British rule arrived. One thing that did happen over this period is that Indian population went up. So population was estimated at about 142 million people in the year 1600, and by the time we get to 1871, Indian population is estimated to be 256 million people. Keep in mind, by the way, this is for what is called historic India, so it will be including large parts of contemporary Pakistan and Bangladesh. In large part, because population is growing, we can see that total Indian real output has somewhat of an upward trend over these centuries. But nonetheless, if we look at the 19th century, we see that over a period of 70 years, under British rule, Indian real output is barely going up at all. To see where these numbers come from, and to see many more numbers about earlier Indian economic history, I recommend this source by two experts on the early economic history of India. It is online. You can Google right to it.